university, I was really like, oh, am I gonna make friends? And lectures and teaching actually started happening. It was like, wow, I'm, I'm actually settled. I'd made a few friends, I had plans. My schedule was packed. ARU became more of a support system. Throughout these three years, I become more confident. I also start learning to become a leader. I've built really strong relationships with people that I feel like will go on further outside of uni. Teachers and other staff are always ready to help. Oh, at ARU it was literally the best experience I could have ever asked when it came to the whole university life. Even though COVID came around, ARU did well to maintain the whole thing. I was ready for this new journey because I was going to study something I always wanted to. The connections which I made here to have a very big impact on my life will benefit me in the future. When I will graduate and walk on the stage, all the girls who have ever wished for education and they wanted to achieve something higher in life, all of them will be graduating with me that day. This is like the best decision I've ever made. Oh, I'm really excited for the future. I want to see what is to become of me. It's a once in a lifetime experience. I've changed a lot in this journey. I couldn't ask for anything more than this. What message would you give to the class? Congratulations for reaching this point and look forward to the journey ahead. You've come through one of the hardest times that I think that any generation of students has had and you've come out on top. The world is your oyster. You know, there's, there's no limitations to what you can achieve. You make us proud. Give them hell. I'm so proud to be a part of ARU and I hope you are too. It's a wide community getting wider around the world and it's a proud boast to say I am an Anglia Ruskin graduate. Well. Done. I want to become in future is professional footballer, cyber security analyst. I'm going to be the prime minister. Stay loyal. Public health professional. Emergency medicine. Software engineering. Physician associate. To be an actress. In the future, I would like to be a successful person and happy person. Professional actor. Senior lecturer in history. Managing director. CG supervisor. Alumni officer. PhD student. Veteran. Chairperson of the National Youth Environment Council. Volunteer for the Royal British Legion. Registered music therapist. Founder of Little Lifts. Honorary graduate. We all should be really proud of ourselves and we deserve this. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and a very warm welcome to Peterborough Cathedral. The warmth of our welcome is inversely proportional to the temperature in the building. I'm very sorry about that. It's a Norman building and the, the heating isn't very much newer, so I do apologise that it's not the warmest space in Peterborough, but we are so pleased at the Cathedral to be able to welcome you here today. Um, when you think about all the learning that is represented in this building today, it's great that we can come and celebrate your achievements, and it's marvellous to be able to welcome friends and well-wishers who've come to celebrate your achievements with you. At the cathedral, this place was built over 900 years ago, and it's been a place of learning for much of its history. It's so good that we can be in that continuing tradition of learning and welcoming you here today. So I'd like to say thank you for coming. Enjoy the graduation, and well done. Ha have a good day. Bye-bye.
please do take a seat, everyone. On behalf of the Academic Registrar, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you to Peter Th Peterborough Cathedral for today's ARU graduation ceremony. We have all gathered here to celebrate your success, the class of 2022. We're pleased to have with us the Deputy Mayor of Peterborough, Councillor Nick Sanford, and the Deputy Mayoress, Alderman Bella Saltmarsh. I think it is fair to say that as a cohort, you have had one of the more unconventional higher education experiences. I am sure there have been times when you will have had your doubts as to whether you would ever get to a graduation ceremony, but you have, and very well done to you all for undertaking your studies in such unprecedented circumstances. Graduation ceremonies follow a tradition that dates back to the 15th century, and it is a tradition which has evolved since. Roughly translated, graduation means taking a step, and graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a new role in society as a graduate, where they will use the skills and talents developed during their studies to contribute to the future advancement of our society. As each graduand crosses the stage, they will pause and doff their hat and bow to the deputy vice-chancellor, who will respond in kind to acknowledge their success and moreover, to symbolize their transition to their new role as graduates. We will applaud them for their success so far, but also in anticipation of the contribution we expect them to make to society in the future. At the conclusion of our ceremony, the Deputy Vice-Chancellor will formally admit all new graduates into the community as scholars. And as members of that community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession and that will bring our ceremony to a close. During proceedings, those graduating with higher research degree awards will have their hood placed on them by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor to indicate that they have achieved the very highest levels of academic achievement. So it is now time to begin our formal proceedings and I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session. And I call upon the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Yvonne Barnett, to address you. Deputy Vice-Chancellor. Distinguished graduands, guests, family and friends and colleagues, as Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I am delighted to join you here at your graduation ceremony. Firstly, to all of those graduating today, my sincere congratulations to you on reaching this milestone and graduating from your chosen course. Today is indeed a day of great celebration. It is an opportunity for each of you to take stock, reflect and celebrate your achievements to date but also to look forward to the exciting careers that stretch out in front of you. And whatever career you enter, you are the future. You now have the opportunity and the responsibility to embrace and promote change, to implement new ideas and new ways of working. The passion, energy and commitment that led you to undertake your ARU degree and gave you the strength and resilience to succeed in that task despite all the challenges you have faced, including those posed by the dreadful pandemic, can now be applied to building your careers and realizing your aspirations. Whether your future lies in education, health, social care, business, law, science, technology, or the arts, with your passion and your expertise, you really can now make a difference, helping society address the challenges that we all face nationally and globally. And we will have succeeded in our task if we have helped you to develop the skills, confidence and determination to influence and to lead your professions, to promote change and to achieve your ambitions. As well as serving our students, we at ARU are fully committed to serving our region and the communities in which we are based. Economic development, 
social inclusion, business support, tackling health inequalities. These are all fundamentally important elements of our mission. Transforming lives through innovative, inclusive and entrepreneurial education and research. Despite all the challenges we have all faced, we have had another highly successful year at ARU. We opened the new university in Peterborough, ARU Peterborough, and welcomed our first cohort of students in September. This new university will provide life-changing opportunities for thousands of local people who may not previously have considered degree level study and deliver, really importantly, a skilled local workforce that will meet employers' needs. In November last year, we were awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize for world-leading music therapy research, in particular, our research with people and carers living with dementia. In January, we opened the first Samaritans University hub in the UK on our Cambridge campus, and the Chelmsford hub will open soon. A pilot which, if successful, will be rolled out to other universities. And in April, we were ranked first in the United Kingdom and 20th in the world out of 1,100 universities for good health and well-being in the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. And of course, our students once again won innumerable prizes, including the Klaus Pfluger Prize for debut children's book, the top prize, the Sir Lenny Henry Award at the Royal Television Students Midlands Student Television Awards, and the new talent category at the World Illustration Awards. And our reach extends well beyond our region. We are genuinely a global community of students and scholars. We attract students from over 135 countries and they flourish with us because they find a second home with us. Our researchers too have worldwide reach and impact. In the last research excellence framework in 2021, 16 of our research areas were rated as including world leading research. Our researchers are tackling real world issues from improving internet safety for teenagers to changing the lives of people living with dementia and from developing compassionate resilience in healthcare workers to addressing the global burden of eye disease. And our researchers also responded rapidly to the COVID-19 outbreak by committing to research that would help us to understand and develop interventions to address the massive impact the pandemic was having on all our communities, locally, nationally and internationally. The work included ways into speeding up coronavirus testing, how coronavirus-19 um, affects the eyes, how it is making tinnitus worse, and an investigation into innovative drug combinations that can reduce complications in COVID-19 patients. So in our research, as in our education, we are having a real tangible impact on people's lives, and that's something of which we can all be very proud. But above all, we define our success as a university by the positive impact we have on the lives of our students and the communities we serve. And for us to succeed, we will need your support as our newest alumni, because the support we receive from our alumni and our friends really does matter adding value to the education we provide to our students and supporting our researchers to push boundaries further. So please help us build links with your networks and your professions and do spread the word about your university. Before I close, I'd like to pay special tribute to your family and friends who have provided you with their constant support through your education. You and we owe them our sincere Gratitude. Thank you all. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank my colleagues, the staff right across ARU, for their tireless work and professionalism and their extraordinary commitment to supporting you and all in our community throughout the challenges of the pandemic and beyond. Thank you all, colleagues. So once again, my warmest congratulations to each and every one of you. I do hope you have the most incredible day. I wish you well wherever your ARU degree takes you. And please do stay in touch. ARU is your university for life. 
and our success and your success is inextricably bound. Thank you. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, thank you. We now come to our main business for today's ceremony, the presentation to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of those receiving awards today. And now I call upon Pro Vice-Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Nigel Harrison, to come to the podium to present to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Acute Care, Angela Moretti. <laughs> Sally Marie Wing. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Midwifery, Kaylee Adams. <laughs> Bethany Sharna Boswell Holmes. <laughs> Lucy Emma Brady. <laughs> Amy Victoria Brook. Alicia Leah Campbell. <laughs> Emily Charlotte Carolan. <laughs> Katie Connington. <laughs> Carla Joanne Goodridge. <laughs> Helen. Jane Meeson. Darcy J. Pittock. Sherry Alexandra Shellini. Charlotte Ashley Victoria Woodgate. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Nursing, Adult, Lydia Dayton. <laughs> Rihanna Zara Dunn. <laughs> Uzoma Gloria Hashendu. <laughs> Sophie Freeman. Amy Good. <laughs> Tiffany Guthrie. <laughs> Chidimma Ikboki. <laughs> Christina Jacob. <laughs> Natalia Yomchek. Rebecca Junsi. Morgan Lambert. Mervelle Lubunga. Mirren Lyons. Natasha Rianne Mahoney. <laughs> no Kutula Maroa. <laughs> Chloe Charlotte Nash. <laughs> Natalia Nguyen. 
Sophie Nichols. <laughs> Blessing Osagi. <laughs> Nana Awa Peters. <laughs> Rebecca Alice Platt. <laughs> Belinda Kue. Jane Elizabeth Robertson. <laughs> Jody Nicole Salt. <laughs> Sumitha Scaria. <laughs> Hadisha Shahid. <laughs> Katie Elizabeth Staley. Keely May Wilson. For the award of foundation degree in the sciences, nursing associate, Adikunli Fadiro. Laura Wills. For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Practice, Clinical, Claire Elizabeth Bainey. <laughs> Stephen Golding. <laughs> Betsy Jacob. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Midwifery Practice, Jody Lorraine Barrett. <laughs> Alison Jane Collinge. <laughs> Sophie Jade Griffiths. <laughs> Tracy Ann Hanant. <laughs> Frankie Kilmurray. Rosie Mary Lee. <laughs> Melanie Rose Lord. <laughs> Nadine Wurster. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Child and Adolescent Mental Wellbeing, Monica Ruth Clegg. Ludi Lil Dai <laughs> Blirina Ferretai <laughs> Georgia Lucy Hedon. Daipali Patel. <laughs> Hannah Lucy Russell. <laughs> Beth Helen Thomas. <laughs> Karen Louise Varma. For the award of Master of Science, Mental Health, Frank Mensa Gamado. <laughs> Rebecca Gamble. <laughs> Richard James Higgins. <laughs> Cynthia Nguenya. Maria Sabu Laidu. <laughs> Lauren Victoria Sasby. <laughs> For
For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Primary Education Studies, Emma Louise Bustin. <laughs> Laura Frances Coulson Marshall. <laughs> Millie Emily Fox. <laughs> Maggie Leanne Hodgkiss. Joshua Allen Christonisic. <laughs> Courtney Chade Parker. <laughs> Abby Leanne Paxton. <laughs> Jasmine Emily Pig. <laughs> Molly Alice Porch. Gemma Elizabeth Proctor. <laughs> Catherine Camilla Revel. <laughs> Jamie Owen Richards. <laughs> Adriani Tassam Sakis. For the award of Master of Arts Education with Early Childhood, Claire Louise Scott. <laughs> For the award of Master of Arts Education with Special Educational Needs and Disability, Stephanie Marshall. <laughs> Annabella Louise Thorne. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Educational Leadership and Management, Paul Dale. <laughs> Matthew Peter Holland. <laughs> Simon Keith Preston. <laughs> Sagdina Rissant. For the award of Postgraduate Certificate, Learning and Teaching in Higher Education, Huma Khan. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Management and Leadership in Health and Social Care, Edward James Goodyear. <laughs> Emma Louise Jarvis. Zonira Kosar. <laughs> Darren Stephen Lyons. <laughs> Mavis Mensah. <laughs> David Nicole. <laughs> Nampari Ojain. Esther Marenikiji Oluwatosin Olu Okon. <laughs> Charlotte Tara Skeen. <laughs> Dean Alexander Steventon. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Healthcare Management, Tracy Adams. Amro R.D. Alamasai. <laughs> Wisam Tula Ali Ala Salaman. <laughs> Chrysanthi Bozilo. <laughs> Gemma Louise Cox. Farley Fernando. <laughs> Joanna Louise Flaherty. 
Amy Jade Fuller. Yorick Gallia. Nadana Mary Marom Bedzi. Yosef Sala. Anuska Gillian Scott. Claire Elizabeth Starry. For the award of Postgraduate Certificate, Medical and Healthcare Education, Rudraya Mantha Patai. For the award of Master of Science, Medical and Healthcare Education, Natalie Marie Bailey. Devnandan Amor Chatterjee. Susan Yeshes Charyan. Vivian Hazel Fowler. Sabil Mahfuz Hussein. Joanne Lurney. Liz Locke. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, that completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Professor Nigel Harrison, thank you. We have many distinguished academics at ARU, and I would like to ask one of them, Helen Bottom, Professional Lead for Staffing and Resources, to come to the podium to offer a few words. Helen. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, and graduates. It's a great honour to be here today to speak to you on this day of graduation. ARU is extremely proud of its graduates, and I'm extremely proud of you all today. Many of you are not only receiving a degree, but a professional qualification. A qualification that will allow you to work in your chosen profession. I would just like to say something that's a little bit close to my heart today. Um, that's imposter syndrome. My friend and colleague, Louise Benkins, was originally supposed to be giving this address. Unfortunately, she went on holiday, and as payback, she got the cough and cold to end all coughs and colds. Um, and now I'm trying to fill enormous shoes, metaphorically speaking. So here I am giving myself a stiff talking to in my best midwife's voice, telling myself that um, if I speak nice and slowly, don't keep you too long, and generally speak about something that interests you, it'll all be fine. <laughs> However, um, I know that many of you will already be working in your chosen professions, and some of you will be feeling that imposter syndrome, that there will be you know, a little voice come in and telling you that it's all been an elaborate mistake um, and that you're not good enough and that, you know, somebody says that you're not going to graduate anyway. Let me tell you, in my best, best midwife's voice, you are good enough. You're not just good enough. You're all truly fantastic. So believe that because everybody believes a midwife when she talks in her midwife voice. <laughs> You've all faced huge challenges. We've spoken about it, and, you know, we know what some of them are. But your beliefs may have been challenged by what you've seen and heard and you may have found it challenging to hold on to the values and beliefs that you hold dear. 
the challenge of meeting deadlines for assignments, the challenge of managing the competing demands of family, friends and placement, the challenge of working in a health service where no two days are the same. And just when you think you know you've got it cracked, your placement changes and you have to start all over again. And apart from anything else, the challenge of working and studying during a global pandemic. Not only have you all risen to this challenge, but you've made a huge contribution, a valuable contribution to the NHS in these difficult times. You've all demonstrated that you have the tenacity, the drive and the enthusiasm to overcome all the challenges you have faced that you have the ability to achieve the required academic standards and that you have the ability to provide a high standard of care and attention, whatever the course you've been on. You now have the opportunity to join professions that have long been held in high esteem by the whole of society. Professions that continue to adapt to changes and challenges and professions that will continue to support you throughout your career. We, your colleagues, welcome you to our beloved professions. We look forward to walking with you, walking alongside you, and ensuring that our professions stay true and strong. We hope that you achieve all that you aspire to, and that every day you truly believe you are doing the best job you can. Now, those of you who know me, I think that I look back and I think I'm definitely not old enough to have had the length of career that I've had so far. So, but I can appreciate when I look back at the times when I've achieved the most are the times when I've challenged myself the most. So challenge yourself every day to do the best you can and to be the best version of the person you can be. Always believe that you can do more be more. You are more than you ever thought it was possible to be. You are not an imposter in your chosen profession. Friends and family of graduands, you are the unsung heroes. The graduands come across the stage and you cheer and you clap for every one of them. But without you, they would not be here. So we applaud you for your unstinting, unwavering support. Graduands, in my best midwife voice, we are proud of you. You are good enough. You are well-rounded, intelligent, passionate. You have been and will continue to be the part of a unique, inspiring community, and you are ready to make a significant contribution to our society. You are the jewels in our crown. You're our finest work, our greatest achievement. We will always be here to support you. But make no mistake, you did this. You got here today, and you will take those risks to take the next steps and be the best version of you. Congratulations to you all. Helen, thank you very much. We now continue with the presentation of those receiving awards today, and I call upon the Pro Vice Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Denise Hawkes, to come to the podium to present to the Deputy Vice Chancellor graduands from the Faculty of Business and Law. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it's my pleasure to present to you graduands from the Faculty of Business and Law. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Digital Marketing, Stephanie Kathleen Baker. <laughs> Eleanor Claire Buckland. <laughs> Konstantinos Hausula. 
Natasha Megan Langley. Madeline Usher. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Management, William Reese Garrett. <laughs> Rebecca Carolyn Morlanton. <laughs> Catherine Ju Jane Julia Schu Schumann Pratt. <clears throat> Chloe Joanne Wesley. <clears throat> William George Youngman. <clears throat> For the award of Masters of Business Administration, Business Administration, Hassam Aldi Abdul Hassel. <clears throat> Baharandi Mohammed Abdurrahman M. Maran Al Funani. <laughs> Abir Batar. <laughs> Mohammed uh, Mahmoud um, Sabrin Mohammed Marut. <laughs> Kaori Atarita. Kirsten Lee Baker. <laughs> Mary Jack Marie Jacqueline Carabellini. <laughs> Lee Ying Chow. <laughs> Xing Yang Fu. Angelino Gisletta. Adam Alexander Hansen. Jay Harper. Xin Gao <laughs> Man Wei Li <laughs> Romel Ferdinand <laughs> Oi Li Li um, Oi Li oh, sorry, say again, sorry. Oi Li Ellen Lowe. Aldosori Abdullah Nafrof A. <clears throat> Dwight St. Patrick Norman. <clears throat> Hala Obaidi. <clears throat> Jason Shafunman. Um, Temba Sibanda. <laughs> Sam <laughs> Samantha Nakesha Williams. Wakwan William Gipp. <laughs> Deputy Vice Chancellor, that completes the list of the graduands for me to present to you today. <laughs> Professor Denise Hawkes, thank you. 
I now call upon the Pro Vice-Chancellor and Dean of Faculty of Business at Arden University, Professor Dilshad Sheikh, CMBE, to come to the podium to present to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor graduands from Arden University. Professor Dilshad Sheikh, CMBE. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduands from Arden University for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Graphic Design, Farron Askew. <laughs> Corey Miller. <laughs> Vivian Palmer. <laughs> Miroslava Todorova. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Umar Ahmed. <laughs> Adeniyi and Kinsanya. <laughs> Akshaya Ponambalam Raj. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Human Resource Management, Tamara Butun. <laughs> Samantha James. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business and Computing, Oliemi Ibatoyo. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business and Law, Annabelle Mavetwa. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Marketing, Jennings Asin. <laughs> Laura Close. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business with Finance, Mohsin Afsal. <laughs> Sharon Crowley. <laughs> Magdalena Haider. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Project Management, Isa Kamara. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Strategic Engineering Management, Benjamin Emenyu. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor, Bachelor of Law with Honours, Common Law, Buffy Jane Kyle. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Law with Honours, Caroline Magu Saltus. <laughs> Anna Savaki Rasova. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing, Information Management, Gotsione Humangwa. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Human Psychology and Criminology, Ben Dawkins. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Psychology Applied, Rachel Louise Cox. <laughs> Lydia Rogers. <laughs> Deputy Vice-Chancellor, that completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today.
Professor Dilsad Sheikh, thank you. Many congratulations to you all. In addition to your success, there are many fellow graduands with whom you studied, but who are not attending today's ceremony for a variety of reasons. In their absence, please would you join me in acknowledging their success. We are now nearing the end of our ceremony, but I would first like to introduce Carla Goodridge, one of our wonderful new graduates, who will propose a vote of thanks on behalf of those receiving awards today. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, fellow graduates. It is my honour and indeed pleasure to offer the vote of thanks today from myself and on behalf of all the students graduating at this ceremony. What a journey this has been for us as students, but also for anyone who has had the pleasure, or not sometimes, of assisting us in this journey. To all of the staff, lecturers, link lecturers, and those staff behind the scenes at Anglia Ruskin, Thank you for providing us with the environment, equipment, and unbelievable knowledge and passion that has enabled us to achieve our degrees. To our families, partners, children, and friends who have nurtured and supported us whilst having to accept that we would be absent from socials and normal family life whilst we throw ourselves into our degrees, thank you and we love you. We are a university of varied ages, gender and races that come together to support, guide and encourage each other. This is even more apparent with the fact that we've all completed our degrees during the pandemic. The university worked so hard to ensure that we did not lose out on our opportunities because of COVID and we have carried this positivity and work ethic to ensure that we make the most of all the opportunities that await us now we have graduated. Even though this was a horrible time for us all, it cannot be denied that we might be the most resilient graduates out there. <laughs> the support and encouragement needed to keep us motivated by all our amazing le lecturers led us to not only building friendships as fellow students, but to becoming a family, not only academically, but personally. Laughing and crying together during engagements, marriages, children, house moves, diagnosis and losses. Situations that needed love and bonds were found in our fellow colleagues as well as our lecturers. Thank you for not only enabling us to grow academically, but to grow as people. It is not an understatement to say that not one of us has come out of the other side of our degrees the same, but for the better. As quoted by Walt Disney, all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Anglia Ruskin University has ensured that if we didn't before, we are all now out in the world living our dreams. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carla, and very well done. So I now call for one final time on Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Yvonne Barnett, to address the new graduates. And now will all of those who have been presented to me on the stage today please stand. As Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I hereby admit you to the degrees, diplomas and awards for which you have been presented to me today. As a member now of the community of scholars, take all that you have learned into society and uphold the values of freedom of thought and of scholarship. Our warmest congratulations to you all.
honoured guests, that brings us to the end of our ceremony, and I hereby declare proceedings closed. Can I now please ask you all to stand for the academic procession? <laughs> Thank you.